Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell Podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Caden Kalinowski of Goodrich Football. Um, you've heard a lot about him if you've been paying attention to the Martians. Of course, the Martians are heading to their first fi- first championship game in school history. They'll be playing on Friday in D4. How's it going, man? Pretty good. How are you? Doing well. Um can you believe that you're you're going to play for a championship game? I mean, honestly, not like it's it's just something that I've always dreamed of doing, and it's really just cool to be a part of something this big and everything going on in our community. It's just it's just cool to to be able to be there for everyone and give back a little bit. Yeah, well, I mean, what has this run just been like for just to be part of it, just. Uh... To just be in there and say, yeah, geez, I'm a part of this. It's like, <laughs> I mean, it, it's been super cool, especially since it's my senior year. I'm just being given the chance to go out on the, on the big win like that is just everything. Yeah. Um, just kind of going in and, and obviously if you've lived in the Flint area and watched local news and stuff, you've heard a lot about this kid. Um you know, he kicks, he plays wide receiver, and he's on defense as well. You barely – do you – you don't ever leave the field, I don't think. No. So, what What just – what is that like for you to just, you know, just be out there all the time? <laughs> I, it's just fun. That's that's really all I can say about it. Like, it, it is tiring at times. Like, sometimes I'll need to get swapped out for a breather or water or something, but it's just fun to know that I'm just – always in the center of it and being a part of everything. I, I can have an impact on every side of the ball. So that's what I try to do. So what's this week going to be like? Uh, what is this just this week, just getting ready for this big game? Been like, for, uh, not for you, the, this team and just this community. I mean, really, it's just, it's just been trying to keep those emotions uh, in check a little bit. Like you don't want to get too high on yourself or too low just making sure you're doing the same thing that we've been doing all year and not changing anything up. And it's been really cool because our community has really had our backs throughout this whole thing. And we did a, a walkout through all the different schools at like all the different levels, like elementary and the middle school and they, and they were clapping for us. So that was cool. Yeah. I bet. I mean, the, I know the, the entire community I bet is behind you guys. So I know Goodrich is in the Flynn area. Um, so yeah, of course, if you're wondering where that is, Okay, so kind of take me back to, like, give me your best, like, football story. It could be from any level. It could be this year. It could be from anything. Oh, uh, man. I'd say I, I have a couple. I have two that come to mind. My One of my favorite games that I've ever played was in eighth grade, I think it was. And we were playing Beecher, and it was, like, super rainy and wet. And it was on their field, and it was grass. It was just, like, a – like a muddy, like that kind of game. And <laughs> my my quarterback, it's the same quarterback that's for our team right now, Gavin Hart. And he was rolling out and he scrambled to the right side and he got pushed out of bounds and there was a giant mud puddle and he fell in it and, <laughs> and he was soaked and cold for the rest of the game. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> Funny. You don't have to worry about that Friday. So, uh, okay. So you said you had another one, right? Yeah. And then my other one, of course, would be, uh, hitting a winning field goal against Freeland in the district championship. That was pretty cool. Yeah, what was that? Uh, like, kind of describe that, you know, the last last few games. I know that TV has documented this, but just overall, just take me through those last few moments and uh, getting that, getting that, getting that field goal on the offense, getting in the position for you to kick that. And obviously, you know, they had to protect you and they, they had to make sure you didn't go down with anything. Yeah, so... It was it was pretty nerve wracking, um, just knowing. So I'm sure you know the whole story, but I missed the first one to to give us the lead, and then there was about uh, like two minutes left, I think. And then Freeland had the ball, and they we just had to make a couple stops, and the clock was running down, and we got them down, and it was fourth down. And there was like 11 seconds left, and then we blocked that punt, and right before right before on that drive, it was just it was just nervous because. There wasn't much time left, and we knew we had to stop them and not get that first down. So, I mean, we we really just rallied, and we never gave up that whole time because I know some teams might have just, like, sat down and been defeated after we missed that first one, but 
we just knew we had to keep going and then we got the ball back and then once we did get the ball back and <laughs> and we lined up for that field goal I mean I was a little nervous but I just tried to like stay focused and just focus on what I was doing and not really let any of those like other outside things get in my way yeah okay so I know tomorrow um, at time of recording we're recording this on Wednesday night of course tomorrow is Thanksgiving what is the plan for you I know that the big Thanksgiving practice I know there's some there's some other stuff going on we won't get into that but um overall what's what's the plan for tomorrow uh from like a football standpoint or just like just an overall standpoint overall um well I have football practice in the morning and then so we got to get through that make sure everything's good we're going like a walkthrough type practice just like that kind of thing and then our coach has something special for us at the end I don't know he said it was a surprise and then um just going to Thanksgiving dinner at my grandma's house after that nice yeah it's um yeah, awkwardly enough, it's uh, I know it's a big Thanksgiving for you guys. Is uh, wh what's your family like? Wh wh what is that? What have they been like to to see you on TV and all that stuff? It's like, um, what what what's their reaction to all this? And do you do you like all the attention that you've been getting the last few weeks? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's just been nothing but love and support from everyone, and that's all I can really ask for. It's been it's been really nice, and yeah, I mean, the attention is pretty nice. <laughs> I, I will say, but I mean, it's not really about that. It's just about just being with everyone and knowing that everyone's got my back through this whole thing. And I just, it's just really heartwarming and just to know that everyone's, everyone's with me. Um, regardless if you, if you win or lose, what's, what do you, what are you going to take away from this season and this experience? Um, well, really just, it's about me and my teammates through the whole thing. Like, I just know that for through my whole life, really, we've been playing with the same core group of guys. And it's just nice to be going out on a good note with everyone. Just knowing that we even made it this far is just that cool and just that special for our school since it's the first time we've ever been here. So, And obviously, it, it, there's nothing like, uh, you know, obviously there's tons of schools that have went over the years that have gone to the state championship game for the very first time. And what it does for communities, it's it's uh, it's pretty special. But uh, let's get to know you a little bit. Let's do the. Of course, if you've been a if you've been a follower of this channel, it's the ten burning questions. Uh, here we go. Um, how do you mentally prepare for a game? Um, I just have my same kind of routine, and I, I just, I kind of, well, mentally, let's think. I mean, just in the car right there, and like on the bus right there, I'm just listening to music, just thinking what plays I'm going to make and how I'm going to do all my assignments all, all through the night. I'm just focused on the game and that, that aspect itself. Um, on a scale of one to 10, how well do you manage your time? Um, in like, in what sense? Just really anything, just really everything. Uh, maybe like a seven, probably. I mean, I'd like to think that I'm pretty organized, but sometimes I tend to procrastinate and <laughs> get behind on stuff. So, yeah. um, if you got if you get to pick if you got to pick one social media app to use and get rid of the rest, what would it be? That's tough, actually. <laughs> Probably Instagram because it's got like a, a mix of everything in there. Um, what's on your game day playlist? Oh, game day playlist. What do you listen? I mean, to? It, it it's mostly some rap in there, and then a couple a couple of nice songs like uh like some Taylor Swift maybe or something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, on a scale of one to ten, how well are you at replying to text messages? About a six, probably. Okay. Um, these also include Snapchat messages too. Okay. Oh uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe like a seven. Then. Okay. Um, um, name a TV or streaming show you're really into right now. Uh, Breaking Bad. I, I started watching that a little bit ago and then I got a little busy with everything, but I'm kind of back to watching that now. Mm -hmm. Um, 
If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Probably, I don't know. The ability to fly would be pretty cool. I know it's pretty uh like a cliche answer, but that'd be that'd be nice. Okay, so what is, uh, I know you had some, we talked football stories earlier, but what is your earliest football memory that you have? My earliest football memory? Um, it would probably be in flag football. And I remember it was like, it might have been the opening kickoff of one of my flag football games. And I remember I was uh, I was receiving the kick and I ran it all the way back. And then at the end, they whistled it back because they said I stepped out of bounds, but I know for a fact that I didn't. <laughs> um, what's your pregame meal before game? Um, I like to either have like a sandwich from from Jimmy John's, something like that, or some chicken. Okay. And if you could tell your uh, if you could tell your younger self something, something you know now but didn't know then, what would it be? probably just to keep working hard and that everything would work itself out in the end just make sure you're always got your head down go to work and do what you love all the time all right well Caden thank you so much for uh, I know you've got a busy week ahead of you but thanks for taking some time to talk with us uh good luck on Friday and have a good Thanksgiving yeah thanks man it's been my pleasure thanks for having me on here